How hard is 3D printing actually? This is gonna be a beginner's guide to give you an idea of what exactly to expect when 3D printing. Maybe you're somewhat new to the hobby, like myself, and it's a little scary, right? Because 3D printing seems really techy and it's like complicated, but you're like, maybe I could handle it. It just, maybe you saw someone 3D printing or you held something they printed. And it is an amazing hobby. That's what I got to say right now. But I feel like now that I'm six months into this and I've just learned so much, I figured I'd do a beginner's guide to kind of help you see how easy 3D printing actually is for a beginner. As a beginner, I would say the most important variable for you when 3D printing is which 3D printer you get. In the last one to two years, 3D printers have completely changed. And as of recently, some of these printers have made it seamlessly easy to 3D print, and especially for beginners. And it kind of depends what type of person you're going to be when it comes to 3D printing, you know? Do you want to totally geek out and mess around with the machine and kind of modify it? Or are you more interested in actually 3D printing and just hands-free of the machine? So if you're the type of person that is just looking for hands-free, I don't want to mess with my machine as least as possible, there's one brand that really stands out with 3D printers right now, and that's Bamboo Lab. And that's the 3D printer that I actually decided to go with. And I gotta say, the hype is worth it. You might pay a little bit more for a Bamboo Lab printer, but like hands-free, turnkey, ready to go. I was 3D printing anything I wanted in like no time at all. And no, this isn't a giant commercial for Bamboo Lab, but as a beginner, I feel like if you're looking for that, that is the type of printer you need to go for. And yes, there are a lot cheaper of 3D printers. If you got an Amazon, you can get a 3D printer for as cheap as $160. But I don't advise that you do that because I have friends that did that and it just... it. You know, if you're if you're a beginner looking for easy, Bamboo Lab printers are the way to go. By the way, if you're looking to buy a Bamboo Lab printer, the only way to get them is from BambooLab.com or from a micro center. You can't get on Amazon. I had this issue. I just want to give you a forewarning that you have to buy them from a micro center or BambooLab.com. It kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Next, let's talk about pricing because as a beginner, you know, you have no idea what to expect with pricing of like how much money you're going to be throwing at this hobby, right? So like I said, if you're looking at getting a Bamboo Lab printer or like something somewhat similar, and again, there are other brands that are somewhat like close to, you know, like Creality has some printers that are also really good, like the K1. But on average, I would say the minimum you're going to spend on a decent printer like a Bamboo Lab is probably going to be between like $350 to $400. And they go as high as anywhere up to like $1,500, like the Bamboo Lab X1C. Then you might be asking yourself, well, is the printer all I'm going to be paying money for? And the answer is pretty much, right? Uh, you just have the 3D printer and then you also have the filament to be printing things which the filament you can get pretty big rolls for anywhere between like 20 to 30 dollars uh, you can save a lot of money by buying filament on amazon as well and the cheaper the printer usually what it means is it's a smaller printer so if you're looking to print larger stuff maybe plan on buying a bigger printer that's going to cost you anywhere between like four to seven hundred dollars maybe even eight hundred dollars and yes that is a substantial amount of money to throw out a hobby but i just went for it you know and what's weird is my personal experience with 3d printing i actually got a 3d printer to print like toys and trinkets and stuff for my daughter but with a little bit of time i actually got completely consumed by 3d printing and the geekiness of it the tech side of it i absolutely loved it and just being able to print things like it's a it, there's no other feeling like it guys like i can i can point at this object on the computer screen and be like we're gonna print that and then maybe in a couple hours i'm holding the object itself like there's it's so addicting. Next question you might have is how do we 3D print stuff on the printer, right? So it's kind of a long, you know, it's a long story of how you do it kind of, but I'll try to shorten this. So there's a couple methods. What you can do is you can download an app actually on your phone. And I just use an iPhone. It's really easy to do, especially if you buy Bamboo Lab printers. They are just so beginner friendly. And you can download the Bamboo Lab app and you can actually just directly print things from your phone. All you have to do is connect your 3D printer to the Wi-Fi and obviously your phone is connected and you can literally just send it there. But if you want more customizable settings, like if you wanna modify the sizing or like the color, like the, there's so much you can customize. What you have to do is get on your computer and download a software called uh, Bamboo Lab Slicer or other slicers. There's like, there's a ton of different slicers and essentially it's a CAD software where you can modify things. It's really easy to use. Chances are there will be a learning curve. You'll have to look up tutorials on how to do certain things, but it's pretty easy to learn, especially if you're decent with computers. So then what we do is we go to these websites and you find 3D print files, right? Then all we do is download them and then import them into the software. And then after you're done modifying it, you 
send it to the printer to print. It just, it just does the dang thing. Another question a lot of beginners have is how much filament do I use? You know, like yeah, the things we print, are they going to be going through tons of filament? And actually you don't use as much as you think, you know, a big roll of that stuff that's like 20 bucks will last you a pretty long time of printing. One thing that I was unaware of is how long the 3D prints take to print though. You know what I mean? Like, uh, cause you see, th you see the things and you get all excited to print them and you're like, how long is this going to take? And something of like this size could take like six or seven hours to print. So if you have children like myself, I have my daughter and she's all excited about this print. We set it all up and we print it and it's just like, we have to wait four or five hours for it to print. And that being said, the cheaper the printer you buy, usually the slower print speeds it has. So if you're looking to print stuff at faster speeds, consider spending more money on a printer. And that's exactly why I spent $800 on my Bamboo Lab printer. And now I have a handful of them and I can't stop doing this guys it's so addicting so after being somewhat new to this hobby and just cons i just i strictly consumed as much stuff as i could learn in probably like a year's time i would say my advice to you as a beginner of things you might not know is to spend the money on a decent printer i know it may seem like a lot right now but once you're really into 3d printing you get your printer set up and you're having issues it is entirely not worth it and it's going to wreck the hobby for you. I'm not sponsored by Bamboo Lab or anything like that, but I really, really think it's the best choice for printers right now, especially in year 2024. And what's crazy about 3D printing is technology is changing rapidly like by the month. You know, this time by next year, I'm guessing like all this information is gonna be out of date and it's just maybe, it moves so fast. That's all I'm trying to say. Another little piece of advice to you is that I'm certain you're going to love 3D printing. So if you're on the fence with it and you're just unaware of what it could bring to you if you have kids this is especially going to be so much fun for you pull the trigger uh finance it if you have to I'm, I'm usually never for like financing things but it's so much fun guys hit me up in the comments let me know like what status you're at are you thinking about buying a printer did you just set one up are you researching it are you gonna buy one for your kids i'd love to hear your story and guys before you go you got to see this battle between me and my daughter we pr we 3d printed these collapsible swords that you can print on your printer and we battled it in the yard check this out the print has finally finished and I gotta say, it looks pretty dang good. Let's take it off the plate here. All right. Man, this thing's cool, right guys? Look at this thing. Let's go test it up. This thing is beastly. All right, which sword do you want? Um, Big one or small one? Small. Small one? All right, let's battle. <laughs> oh no, it broke. We'll put it back together. <laughs> Break. Oh. You win.